the undead will not bleed, but they can be blighted. So, the blight, uh, although it is just basically the same thing as bleed, and that it's just a, a damage over time effect, it, uh, it is going to be more effective against certain enemy types. Alright, so, we're in our first dungeon, and as you can see, the map is a little bit more extensive. We need to figure out which room we're going to go to. Uh, this is a skirmish type mission, so we need to complete 100% of the room battles. Let's go ahead and just uh, move to this room. Go ahead and cover this side and make sure that we're not missing any fights over here. Free stuff. 500 gold. Delicious. Okay, and uh, good thing. Ah, I hate that so fucking much. Really, the very first fight, it just jumbles my line. Oh, RNG. So here's the point where it's like, I gotta move this guy up. Uh, I have to. Because he's not going to be in the fight if I don't. And I have to move this chick back. Because if I don't, she's not going to be able to do shit either. That's amazing. Okay, so my first two turns were just garbage. Here I am getting peppered down. Alright, well... Maybe we can get things started here. Uh, they all seem to be close to the same HP. I do have an AoE attack. Zealous Accusation. Let's go ahead and just uh, try this out. 4 to 8 damage, damage mod, negative 40%. This is really good for unholy stuff. These are humans, so I think I'll just do Zealous Accusation. Holy shit! Wow. Decimated. That was amazing. That was by far the best RNG I've had in this game. <laughs> okay, uh, commentator, I think you made your point clear. Amazing. Powerful blow. Ultra kill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, battle medicine. Battlefield medicine. Uh, emboldening vapors. Uh, obviously, we want to do noxious blast here. We have no need for buffs at this point, just one enemy remaining. We're just going to dump all of our damage into this guy. Open vein, and I can move this guy after battle, so I'm not going to waste another turn. I'm just going to try to get this guy down. Good, excellent. Okay, so I can move forward. Excellent. All right, there we go. Okay. So that first battle went off without too much of a problem. Uh, I kind of want to pick this up just so I can tell you what I'm talking about or show you what I was talking about earlier. As you can see, it's like, okay, stack of books. It's like, oh yeah, let's, let's just loot that. Well, fuck it, let's just loot it. The hero reads a most unsettling passage. And I just gained 25 stress from that. So... That's what I'm fucking talking about, you know? Like, you cannot just click on every single interactable object in this game and expect it to be a beneficial thing for you because it just it fucking isn't. I uh, just got 25 stress for reading a book. Um, I know that this game is trying to do something a little bit different. It's like, oh yeah, this is, you know... Going through dungeons like this would be stressful. Your characters would get, you know, mentally unraveled uh, with each dungeon. Like, that's fucking cool. That's a great concept. No problem with that at all. But I have a hard time... I have a really hard time imagining, like, a slayer of monsters just bitching out because... He just read an unsettling passage in a book. Like, this is a game and all, but that's a little stupid. And because it's a game, it's, it actually kind of makes it more stupid. Uh, because, like, fuck that, basically. Okay, so we have kind of a big boy here, Bone Defender up front. Uh, what do we want to do? These guys are immune to bleed, as you can see, 100% bleed resist. So this open vein uh, is not a good option. We're going to go ahead and just use the AoE 
try to pepper these guys down. So we have heals. Oh yeah, we have uh, illumination. We can put a negative 20 dodge debuff and do some damage. Or we can stun, which is looking pretty good, actually. What's this stun resist at? 38%? Uh, I don't know about that, uh, dodge, you can't see their dodge chance though, it's interesting, huh, we're gonna do a, we're gonna try stun, excellent, alright, excellent, so this guy technically should be out of commission, might. Let's go ahead and just uh, take these guys out. 8 to 15 damage. Kind of want to take the guy out and back because he's full HP. Oh, I can't do that, actually. We're just, we're just going to take out this guy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Now, this might be the type of game where you need to take out the, the big threats first and uh, just let the little guys go. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, we're gonna have to, um, <laughs> we're gonna have to learn, uh, from experience there. Let's see, obviously when we want to do this. And I probably should have blighted the other guy. Oh, he resisted it anyway, but. I triple AoE, outstanding. This guy's still stunned. Oh wow, that just gave me 15 stress, whatever the hell that was. That's kind of brutal. Stress level is still quite good right now, nothing to worry about. Um, This guy is still stunned, so I don't want to stun him again. I really want to just burn this guy in the back down. Uh, we're going to make sure that... Uh... And I could start to heal myself, actually. 17 of 22. Might as well. Um, yeah, might as well. Keep our guys topped off here. This is going to be her primary role. Okay, so Noxious Blast. We're going to go ahead and dot this big guy here. Three damage per round for two rounds. Okay, so now he's no longer stunned. 20% resist. We're gonna... Now that this guy's low, we're gonna go ahead and smite him down. Great. So I have a feeling that that was probably a decent move uh, by me. Probably a decent move. And, and you might be thinking to yourself, hey, dude, you're, you're like kicking their ass. You're doing fine. Well, the thing is, is early game, I would imagine that you, you should be winning these fights, but it's the, the manner in which you win that's going to be significant. The more damage you take, the more stress that you build up, that stuff is going to start to accumulate the more, you know, the more dungeons that you do, so you really have to be careful. Um, let's go ahead and just knock this guy out. Stunned. Alright, bro. Here we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence Holy water is crest. And, and these, these consumables, uh, they do not stay in your inventory for the next mission. They just they just disappear, and you have to purchase them all over again. So when you get stuff like this in a mission, you should use it if you need it. Um, here's another, you know, gem that just, as far as I can tell, just is only gold. Uh, I don't really know. They might be used for other stuff, but these things right here can be used for upgrading town structures. Locked sarcophagus. Okay, so it's locked. Uh, we can use the skeleton key to unlock it, and we will. Packs laden Excellent. With loot are often low on supplies. Holy shit. What's... Is that really, like, something that I can put on one of my characters? That's fucking amazing. 8% protection. Right? Protection points? Yeah. 
20% max HP. Oh, but negative 12 dodge. I see. I see. Huh. Damn. Okay. Huh. I don't really know, like, uh, I would imagine this is good for this guy. I, I don't, I don't know about the negative 12 dodge, though. That seems bad, but, uh, eh, you know. Ooh, scouting. And I, I think that this is also RNG, and I don't know what all these symbols mean. I know that the web is a trap, that's the... <laughs> The one thing that I know for sure. Um, and we want to move to this room because uh, there might be a fight in this hallway. And that's what we're here to do is to complete all of the battles. Whistles, huh? Okay. I'll be keeping this for myself. Okay, so there goes the uh, klepto thing, huh? Yep. So does that mean that... Uh, if I open stuff with another party member that this guy won't steal it? I don't- I just don't know. I, I don't know. That might have been a huge mistake on my end, but... That sucks. Um, and there's a trap. Click the trap to disarm it. Some heroes are better at disarming. Ah, uh, is there some way to tell who's better? Something tells me that the... Highwayman would be the best. Or the Plague Doctor. I'm just based off of appearance. But I don't know. Trap. Just straight up trap. It's like, okay, Ancient thanks. Traps lie in wait. It doesn't just say, like, fail to disarm or anything. It just trap huh okay um and as you can see uh the light is starting to dim here as the light gets dimmer the monsters get more difficult the rewards get better i don't i've yet to really see that pay off for me because uh during my first 15 minutes i simply once the light got really low i like started getting wailed on by stuff. It was like critting me for 20 left and right. My guys were just getting drilled. So let's go ahead and uh, use a torch on that note. Go ahead and get this back up here. And stress is not, and obviously it builds up stress too. That's another thing to consider. Now that I've uh, popped a torch, I'm no longer getting plus stress, so. Oh, and I see it gives you plus scouting and monster surprised too. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, so that's that for this room. Let's move back, and uh, we will progress. Seems like an awfully large dungeon. And I just picked up stress there. I guess you can still pick up stress. Okay, here's the hunger thing. Um, the exertions of adventuring have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. So... Eat nothing, take 20 damage, 20% 20 damage, plus stress damage. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to do that. I think I'll just go ahead and eat. Thanks, though. And that's kind of why you take 8 food. I guess that's why it suggests that you take 8 food. Because you're probably going to have to eat twice uh, in a small dungeon. There's that damn bookcase. But uh, we are going to go ahead and just keep progressing. And hopefully, uh, once we get out of here, that stagecoach will have some decent uh, heroes to offer us and not... Um, nothing too garbage, hopefully. Hopefully my RNG can continue to be decent. Alright. So, uh... 
Yeah, I, and we're not going to open that. You saw me read a book earlier and gain 25 stress. I don't think opening a fucking Iron Maiden is going to be worth it most of the time. Really? Really? Is, is this RNG? I just ate. Son of a bitch. Is this really just RNG? Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Wasn't paying attention. Well. All of a sudden, I'm kind of like, fuck, you know, because... Alright, so there is no battle uh, in this hallway, and actually... This is one of those choices where normally you'd be like, oh yeah, I want to explore all this dungeon because there might be loot here. But because it's this game, you kind of want to get the hell out of here as soon as you can so your characters aren't getting too much stress and not taking too much damage. This one character's already got 32 stress. I feel like that's bad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, move to this room and hope that we can finish things up here with this final battle. What is this? I, I didn't want to open that. I just wanted to click on it. Okay, so we're blighted, but we did pick up that thing, didn't we? Holy water. Oh, that's not what we need. We needed uh, the anti-venom is what we need, yeah. Okay, well, gonna take damage. And I'm gonna take damage from blight during this battle too. Okay, uh, we're looking at pretty standard stuff here. That seemed to do a really shitty amount of damage. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal up. Should we heal up, or should we just go for stuns? Let's go for stuns. Resisted. Fuck. Alright. Zealous Accusation... That seems to be some pretty solid AoE. Okay, so we can actually... Uh, use medicine on this guy if we want to, but... I think not. We're just gonna go ahead and take this guy out, I think. Uh, yeah. 1 HP, eh, brawler. Okay, so he's, he's blighted, so he, he'll just die uh, next round from the blight. There we go, excellent. The the beast, it works. The the glory. And once again, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and take this guy out, yeah. I'd, I'd imagine these are the right moves. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, so I didn't really take much uh, much damage here. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. 18. Uh, I kind of just wanted to click on him to see how much health he had, but these are just mistakes on my end, purely. Alright, there we go. Let's move ahead. Hopefully this is... Wow, another can ring. They can be beaten. 100, negative Wealth 100. Measure. Negative 100 percent? The brave and the foolhardy alike. What? Okay. So, let's see. Does that mean that this character just can't eat? Or does that mean that you just can't eat when you have this ring on? I, I don't understand some of this stuff. Uh, 10% HP. Oh, does this mean that uh, when this character does eat, it actually doesn't consume a food? Is that what that means? Because that would actually be kind of cool. I don't have any food to test it. But then again, that, that negative 8 dodge again. I don't think that's a very good ring. If I... I don't know. 10% HP, that's, that seems OP as hell. But the uh, negative 8 dodge, I have a feeling, is not good. I have a feeling that's not good. 
but uh, the negative 100% food, that, that must mean that uh, you can heal yourself up with food uh, and they will not consume the charge. I guess that's what that means. We're not going to put that ring on right now. Well, I guess we could. It's nothing like... But the only thing we're really gaining at this point is 10% HP and... Eh, not worth it. Stashed heirlooms. Excellent. Let us continue. Oh! Another battle. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and light another torch. Shit, man. This is uh, pretty rough. Let's see, 16 health in the back. Okay. Can't bleed these guys. There's just no point in not using some AoE damage here. Doesn't like stun. We're gonna go for heals. I guess. Or we can do uh, illumination. Torch plus five. Crit mod plus five. Target 20 dodge. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to heal right now, I don't think. Darn awesome, he's debuffed. Oh, nice. RNG, thank you. Oh my, they are trying to focus fire my highwaymen. Alright. I see. So we have Blight, and that is pretty much... All we can do right now. That'll kill him next turn. Great. Four. We are going to. Sm we can't smite that guy in the back. Uh, there's just no point in not just uh, taking this guy out, I don't think. This guy's gonna die next turn. Kinda sucks that we have to do that. But it needs to be done. Oh, great. Oh, great. I could actually lose a character here. This is not good at all. How come you didn't... Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. Please die from the Blight. Um, we need to heal this guy for sure. Ooh, five. Nice. The victory. This guy's not going to die from Blight. He'll die from Blight in the next round now. So I can actually ignore him, which is good. Alright, so now I just gotta focus on this Bone Arbalist in the back. Uh, we will blight him, hopefully. Yes, great. Alright, so... We should make it out of this. Um, let's see, pistol shot or open vein. I think open vein is going to do more damage... Uh, negative 15% damage mod versus negative 25%. But there is a 10% crit mod on pistol shot. That's the only thing. Accuracy base is 85 on open vein, so we'll just go for that. Obviously resist. Um, we're going to go ahead and heal up again, because, yeah... Actually, like, took a lot more damage than what I thought I would. This dungeon, a lot more. It shows how little I fucking know. Size alone does not there we go. Alright, so. Oh, fucking fantastic. So we are out of this shithole. Uh, let's go ahead and... Actually, yeah, you're the klepto, right? So, we'll go ahead and not let you loot those, like, ever again. 
All right, let's take a look at the map. We do have another room to go to down here and up here, but no, 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 we're, we're done. Room by room. We oh, are no. <laughs> gonna take our victory and run. We did get a decent amount of gold here. Got 3,000 from the quest. Uh, 1750 from loot. Quite a bit of heirlooms here as well. So, not bad. Not bad at all. And we will see what our characters rolled here. She did not level up. I, I don't understand why sometimes... Oh wow, not bad. I've never encountered those types of monsters though. That must be at another dungeon. Uh, let's see. Wow, look at these rolls, dude. No nega traits. Fucking sweet. Plus two speed. Oh wow. Awesome. 20% weapon upgrade cost, negative 20%, so. We're gonna get a discount on uh, upgrading weapons, which I've yet to do in this game. But uh, I see that seems like a fairly solid start. Faces of um, I did rack up quite a bit of stress here, quite a bit of stress, and uh, I think this has probably been going on long enough. As you can see, I unlocked the tavern, uh, which is going to be stress relief, and the abbey. Uh, which is also going to be used for stressfully, uh, stress relief, excuse me. But we will wait until the next episode to delve into that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure it was kind of like boring at times because I'm trying to figure out the game myself. So there's lots of pausing, just reading tooltips and stuff. Sorry about that. But I am learning the game. Uh, so, uh, and I'm sure some of you have probably played it and were like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I understand that, uh, but give me some time, guys. Uh, I can normally... I'm a fast learner with games. It, it normally doesn't take too many failures before I start to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.